Mr. Williams. He's Henderson, everybody. But he keeps forgetting what he wrote down. The whole crowd goes so loud. What's going on, guys? Or not, whatever, fuck it, it's your show, I don't give a shit, whatever, I'm just here to tell jokes and shit, I don't know. I was setting up the new phone, fucking Google popped up, I was like, hey, using location services, do you want to leave your phone unlocked while you're at home? And I was like, I have a girlfriend, fuck that shit, dude, I'm not that stupid, man. Not that I do anything wrong, like, I'm a great boyfriend and everything, but... Google searches are private, dude. I'd rather my girlfriend see my old Tinder conversations, you know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck that, dude. Like the other day, my friend and I were having a conversation and uh, we were talking about that, um, that case in Ohio. There was the high school football team that raped the girl, filmed it, and it leaked. Do you guys remember this? No, okay, neither did we. We, <laughs> we couldn't remember the name of the town. It's Steubenville for those uh, rape historians that are kind of trying to think of it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, but we didn't know, so I grabbed my phone, I was like, hey Google, high school football team rapes girl on video, and now that's on my phone, that's in the search history, man, like, you want me to take the chance of leaving it unlocked and my girlfriend finding it, and just like, I'm stepping out of the shower, and she's like, so you like to see high school girls get raped, huh, that's what's going on, I'm like, no, it's, no, it's for research, <laughs> Dating a black girl. Thank you. She was a rescue, so that's appropriate. <laughs> it's weird when you're dating a black girl because, like, inevitably everybody's like, yo, like, do you get to say it? <laughs> People don't believe me when I say I'm dating a black girl. Like, probably because I look like I mutter racist shit in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend's sweet, though. She's a real sweetheart. Um, which is nice for me, like, dipping my toe into the culture, you know? Like, she's got, she's got an easy to pronounce name. She's a good starter black chick. Did I say that? She, <laughs> she's like, just ease your way in, you know what I mean? Like. I'm not gonna tell you what her name is, but what I can tell you is that you'd be able to find it like on a souvenir license plate at Knott's Berry Farm. It'd be like at the top. I swear to God, that's why black people name these kids those weird ass names, man. It's brilliant, they don't have to buy that shit. They'll be in the store, they'll be like right next to the rack. Kids will be like, Mom, can I get one of these? And my parents will be like, I mean, yeah, if you can find your name, yeah, we'll, we'll buy all of them and stop. <laughs> And the kid's like, What's the, where's the apostrophe start? I don't understand this. <laughs> True, man. I'm, a, I'm from Michigan. I know I have a friend that teaches a lot of little school kids in Flint, Michigan. Fucking like hood of hoods. Okay. <laughs> he's from Detroit. He knows. And he has this little girl in his class whose name is spelled L-A hyphen I-A. And it's pronounced Ladashia. <laughs> Take that, hooked on phonics. 